You think it's a glamorous role being a PLC programmer, don't you? Rocking up on site, whipping open a laptop, pressing a few buttons, and then just like that, you've got a fully functioning control and automation system. But let me tell you something. If you're a beginner looking to dive straight into PLC programming and commissioning, don't bother because it's going to massively backfire on you. And I'm saying that based on 20 years engineering experience working across all the major sectors within control and automation. And I get it. Who doesn't want to to do what looks like that easy role of a PLC programmer, where they don't really have to do any hard graft, get paid big money and benefit in multiple ways, which I'm gonna get into in a minute. But the reality is, first of all, you haven't earned the right to be in this position and you don't realize what's gone into the skill set of that PLC programmer to enable them to be in that role. And PLC programming is the fifth step that I recommend individuals and businesses take when progressing on the path to becoming electrical control and automation specialist with step one being how to master system schematics step two panel building and wiring step three system testing and fault finding and then step four system specifying and design and in my opinion these are all areas that any competent PLC programmer should be proficient in before getting to that stage of PLC programming because if they don't and shit hits the fan on site which it all always does, they'll be up the creek without a paddle getting smashed into the rocks with no hope of getting that system up and running. And if you're looking for free training in all of those areas that come before PLC programming and on-site commissioning, then I recommend joining our community, links in the description, where we have multiple training programs and offer weekly coaching calls and then have a collection of experts who are also available to offer guidance, link in the description. Now it's well worth developing the skill set to becoming a PLC and commissioning engineer and I'll get into all of that in a second but firstly let me explain a few things as to why rushing into PLC programming can backfire as a beginner so you don't make the same mistakes that I've seen countless other people make. So the first thing is people don't really understand what underpins the PLC programming. So yes they might be able to go on a five-day manufacturer training, go through the software, go through how to program things in a classroom setting but then when it comes to implementing that in a real world project they don't know all the stages and all the things that come before the PLC programming if you think about it PLC programming and commissioning is pretty much the last thing that happens in a project but they don't really understand conceptually what a project looks like on paper they don't know how to build or wire a system they don't know how it should function how it should test out and they don't know why it's been specified and designed that way so it makes comprehending PLC programming very very difficult if you haven't got those things that come before it the other thing is misaligned expectations of employers and clients so the second thing is project delivery so let's say that you're an electrical contractor you've been on manufacturer training for four or five days you've gone through the training and you know now how to program or at least you've gone through the training and you've able to program in a classroom environment. Now you've won a project, you've been able to actually get to a point where you're now on site and you're commissioning, but this is now where problems arise and where a customer wants something programmed in a specific way. And let's say that you have programmed it, or at least you think you have, but it's not working. Things aren't working as you'd expect them to. Now let's say that your programming is okay, but there's all these other things that we just went through that might not be okay. Maybe the cabling infrastructure is not okay. Maybe the design hasn't been done properly. Maybe there's something in the control panel that's missing, but now you don't know whether it's your programming or whether it's something that underpins it. And ultimately, long story short, is it just turns into a bit of a mess. The project's not delivered as it should be fully functioning to the customer. Customer's not happy. You're overwhelmed and stressed out. And then lots of negative things happen off the back of that. Bad reputation, lost profits, and you not really wanting to do a project like that again. And then finally, before we get into some of the benefits of being able to PLC program and commission it's a bit like an analogy it's like trying to drive a car before we can even crawl so we learn to crawl first we understand systems and what they're all about then we start learning how to walk that's where we're starting to learn how to build and wire systems then we progress up to riding a bike so this is similar to like testing and fault finding and pre-commissioning and then 
we learn how to drive a car and this is where I like to think of the PLC programming. So yeah, focus on crawling, walking and riding a bike before you start driving a car. Now, of course, there's huge benefits having this skill set of being able to PLC program and commission. Firstly, money. So you get paid pretty well for being a PLC programmer, but this does come with more responsibility, ensuring that systems do actually function as they've been specified and designed. Secondly, it's quite a flexible role. So once you understand the principles of PLC programming, you can float around sectors, float around and use different systems. It's all pretty much the same thing, inputs, outputs, just slightly different software. It gives you quite a lot of freedom and you don't have to rely on huge amounts of tools. I can pretty much get away with my laptop bag and just a backpack of hand tools. And that's pretty much all you need when you're doing on-site commissioning. And then finally, and this is probably of more benefit to the older generations, the people that sort of want to get off the tools and out of doing more manual work is that it's pretty much just focused on a laptop, maybe digging around in a control panel a little bit, but there's no real sort of hard graph, hard manual labor, pulling cables, etc. So it's relatively easy in terms of how physical it is, which might appeal to some of the older generations who are starting to deteriorate a little bit. And remember guys, if you're looking for free training in the areas that come before the PLC programming, then I recommend joining our community where we have multiple free trainings, offer live coaching calls, and has a collection of experts who are always available to offer guidance to new people. Link in the description. See you on the next video.